What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are going over a 20 mil DM. It is 760 C's plus 20 millimeter stroke with a DM top end on it. Uh, this is my drag bike. It's not really set up how it should be, but considering how much I use it, you know, this is, this is good enough for now. I mean, if I lived out West, I would definitely, you know, go the whole nine yards and end up doing like, you know, like a nice uh, aftermarket frame and everything. But um, this bike does rip, it's a lot of fun. I'll do a quick mod review on everything that I have on here, all the parts, and then we'll end up getting into the dyno chart to show, me, show you uh, how much power it's making. And um, yeah, so let's just start with that. So. ODI grips like I have on the other bike, awesome. We have the new style Chariot thumb throttle housing and it is um, does still have a little bit of play but it's a lot better than the other one. Of course we got the uh, ASV C6 levers, which are awesome levers. And Pro Taper bars. We got our, I believe it's Pro Tether. Yeah, I got the same, our Pro Armor. Pro Armor, uh, tether on there which works good we have the chrome uh, gas cap cover a polished gas cap which I need to polish up we do have a vortex uh, hood on there and it does have a uh, full bore cut rear fender let's talk about the seat really quick so this seat is obviously cut is Alec alligator skin and it is uh, diamond stitched as well made by uh, custom seats of Louisiana I got this thing a couple years ago and they did a fantastic job on it uh, if you if you're ever on the form this is actually uh, on the Banshee HQ form that's my uh, member name on there so they did a great job on that came out really good We've got our spindle mount hubs on here and they do have front brakes on it. I know a lot of the drag guys don't run them, but I personally like to be able to stop. So I went with those. We do have some Fox, Fleet, uh, Fox 3 floats on there. And these seem to be pretty good. Uh, I actually prefer them over the Shaw's and they're just as light, so you really can't go wrong. And they're fully adjustable with the pump, which is awesome. Just the stock calipers on there, steel braided lines. And I forgot what kind of A-arms these are. I'll have to look. I'll probably just put it in the description. But these are on negative one plus one forward, I believe. Oh, they're fireball arms. That's what they are, they're fireball. And we actually modified them, the uh, stock spindles, to fit these heim joints. And that's how I was actually able to run the brake uh, brakes on there which is awesome. So, and I could literally just throw a uh, stock up and tire on there if I really wanted to. I mean, hey, maybe I want to take this thing out doing it, you know? So we could do that if we wanted to. We do have some uh, LED, LED in-frame pipes, custom made for the motor. And you'll see on the dyno chart, some cool stuff. I actually have a comparison on these and some Shearer uh, in frame pipes for this motor. So, obviously, we got some polishing going on, and I haven't polished it in a couple of years, so it's pretty dull. But you know, some 41 millimeter PWKs. Uh, we got some IMS roll design pegs, which are really nice. Don't mind the uh, the mud on here. We, we got killed with the uh, rain not too long ago, a lot of flooding happened. So, hopefully, whoever that affected. Hope you guys are good. Um, we do have this, this thing out here. We do have this uh, aftermarket brake lever that someone made. It's supposed to clear the clutch cover. And like I said, it almost does, but just right there, right there it hits. So we still got that gas line like I always use. You know, polished reservoir and all the polished brake stuff. You got this custom swing arm that someone made for me. 
see the letters in there BHQ for Bench HQ, which was pretty cool. Kind of kept the raw look to go with the pipes and it's been cleared. But obviously anything that you clear that's raw, eventually it's going to start to get a couple little bit of uh, rust spots. I mean, the majority of it will be good, but don't expect it to be perfect because that's just the reality of it. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. So we got some, some good old paddle tires, some rims I got from Sand Toys Unlimited. John he's a great guy that's actually where I got all my paddles on even from my other bikes so they're all ready to go for the dunes we're trying to get ready for the Banshee HQ ride but uh these rims are pretty cool they're nice we got the uh, exhaust over there which looks great I mean you know I don't really need silencers on this thing in the sand dunes because there's no really restrictions so we got a uh, JJ and a axle they make some really good quality product and it's adjustable. You can actually bring them in more. And this little thing, you're probably wondering what it is. Uh, it's actually a flag mount and you could just actually screw the flag in there instead of unbolting it. So I just kind of kept that on there. Yeah, we got our uh, chariot. A stator cover with engine hoist mount and that helps keep the motor from twisting in the frame heard some pretty crazy stories on these bigger motors and stock frames so that's a good precaution obviously we have the oversized bowls on there the motor does have a uh a dunable override on there i could have went with a regular override but i just got the dunable one to give it you know to have a little bit more flex so I don't end up pulling that clutch lever right in, right away when I uh, get off the throttle. You know, hopefully I'll have more of a chance of it not bending a shift fork. So, yeah. So uh, we got that dual pingle, that chrome dual pingle, like I have in the other 10 mil. Obviously, this is the 20 mil bike. I always run those. Even have it on my uh, four millimeter. It's a good petcock with reserve on it. And of course, the billet cases. I have a two machine. Pretty expensive. Got a rear show on there, and like I said, it's not really set up how it should be. But uh, you know, I'm not too worried about it because I only take it out really a couple times a year at the at the ride. So, like I said, if I if I lived out west, I would definitely end up just doing it correctly. And but it works pretty good. So the bike is pretty nasty. Obviously, the bigger you go on the stroke the quicker it's gonna end up picking up power and the more power that it end up could making, depending on your setup. Yeah, so, bike's pretty nasty. I like the uh, like the seat cover looks good. What the hell was that? Oh, a piece of plastic or tape or something, okay. I was like, I thought I ripped my seat. Yeah, just the polish or a caliper on there. And some type of aftermarket disc, I don't know which one it is, it's not really important, but. Yeah, so that's uh, that's basically the mod. So uh, let's go look at the uh, dyno chart right now. All right, guys. So here's the dyno chart I was talking about. So the bike made 148 horsepower on a conservative tune. The red is the LED pipes and the blue is the shearer pipes. Now you'll see, like I said, the, um, that the LED pipes that are in red, it comes up the face of the curve a lot harder we're talking like let's see we're talking like 20 horsepower more up the whole face of the uh of the curve that's that's pretty crazy that's that's amazing for sure and yes it doesn't rev out as far you're getting about a thousand more rpms with the shears but with the led like i said that that jump in that on that curve is that's pretty freaking awesome um, obviously the motor has a good curve to it on either pipe so I guess you really can't go wrong with either but I mean like at 6.5 and you're I gotta look at this yeah you're making actually more you're making probably like I would say 24 25 more horsepower give or take right there and that's a good amount it's such a low rpm like I said that's just how much harder these LED pipes hit than the shearers do so 
props to LED for a great job on that. And the uh, torque is, uh, yeah, it's like 11 more pounds of torque, which is from a pipe change, that's pretty darn good. Yes, it is, you know, a hand comb pipe made for the motor. So of course you're gonna get the best results from it. But just from a pipe change, that's some pretty cool stuff to see. And also, I'll bring up another chart that I have of it. Here's some more runs and uh, just so you kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Obviously there's a, you know, there's a green line and a red line and that is, uh, that's the, uh, obviously the LED pipes and the, um, the green line is with the uh, Stinger tubes without silencers, which I'm currently running. And the green line is the, uh, I'm sorry, the green line is the stinger and the red is the um with the normal silencers. And surprisingly, it's a little bit of a trade-off. Obviously it's very similar, but you can see that the um the silencers actually end up making a little bit more power, which is pretty interesting, and it makes it rev a little bit longer too. Didn't really expect that. And uh, like the same thing we got with the, sh with the shearer pipes with a uh, muffler and a uh, just the regular stinger. And um, so that's kind of interesting to see as well. But yeah, apparently it likes a little bit of the back pressure. It's not really anything noticeable, but if you're really searching for every single last ounce of power, you know, maybe it may be a little bit more different when it's not so rich. But definitely better rich than lean. And like I said, this is kind of cool to actually see this comparison. But yeah, I mean, like I said, those LEDs, man, they they definitely, uh, they pack a punch off the, off the line, which is great. So very happy with those. So obviously this motor still has a lot left in it. You could definitely pour it more and easily get a lot more power. And then, you know, you add alcohol into the mix and then, you know, you're easily reaching a buck, you know, you know mid 170s, give or take. So, um, like I said, this is a conservative tune with not too much porting. Um, like I said, the motor was just really a uh, yeah, hill climb motor. So it's not really ported to that, you know, max potential that it has. So just wanted to throw that in there really quick. All right, so as you can see in the diner chart, Obviously the LED pipes did make more peak horsepower, a lot more quicker up the face of the curve. And um, yeah, so LED, nice job on those pipes, man. They're they're beautiful for sure. Pieces of art, when I first got them, I was just like an awe. And you know, the key to keeping these things in good shape when they're raw is just, you know, if you ever wash it, make sure you dry off the pipes immediately and then coat them with some WD-40 and lay it on there pretty good and let it sit. And, you know, if the bikes, you know, anytime you store it, just make sure you end up coating them with WD-40 so that you can keep these pipes in good shape. Um, but, yeah, so, like I said, obviously, as you saw on the dyno chart, the LED pipes are where it's at. Yes, the shears do rev higher, but with the amount of power it's making, I like to have the power come on quicker, so. And, yes, there's obviously a lot more to be gained in this motor, um, again, does have some porting, nothing too crazy on it, but you know, there's definitely more power to be gained, especially if you switch to alcohol and, you know, you could definitely get it up there and on the one seventies, no problem easily. Like I said, um, I actually got this motor and it was set up for uh, hill climbing and I, I basically kind of stumbled upon it because I guess the person who I bought it from, everybody when he finally got the motor built, everybody was kind of getting out of the hill climbs and the motor really didn't have much runtime on it at all. So the motor was basically brand new and it was actually built by Redline Racing as well. So I knew that it was top notch and it was good to go. And uh, I just couldn't turn down the deal. I, I saw it and then like two seconds later it was sold. And then like months later I saw him selling the same motor again. And I'm like, dude, I thought you ended up selling it. And he's just like, well, yeah, I mean, the guy said he was going to pay me. I mean, it's been like two months. And he, haven't, he hasn't gave me anything. And I, I told him, I'm like, I'm only like, you know, five, six hours away. I was like, I, I got the money. I'll come pick up tomorrow. And uh, I did. I went to the bank and then I 
picked up this motor it was, it was a steal i'm not going to tell you exactly how much i got it for but let's just say it's probably what you wouldn't think um it was actually too good of a deal to pass up it was one of those things where it was like okay this is going to take a pretty decent hit in the bank account but you know i'll be spending more than that like twice the amount or even more um to get this motor so kind of kind of worked out that way and then i ended up building this so i want to try to see if i can show you some stuff on the stock frame i don't know if you'll be able to see it on here uh, you can kind of see it in the back but we did have to modify the frame a little bit for it to fit it's so hard to see just because it's not focusing but if you look in the back where that frame rail is the uh, frame rail you'll see that part of it kind of dips in a little bit but we filled that in and made sure it was solid but there was some modifications and you do have to lift the gas tank up a little bit if you're using a stock one because you will not be able to get plugs out just because of how tall the cylinder is but yeah this this thing's pretty crazy i can't wait to ride it again and you know it's all in good fun if i if i lose it is what it is i'm not worried about it i just actually appreciate being able to ride something like this you know out west once a year like i usually do so but all right guys that's gonna be it for the video tell me what you thought about this thing and uh don't forget to like share and tell your friends about it i want to try to blow this channel up just to show you any cool stuff that we have and you know just keep that the uh, motorsports industry going all right guys take it easy